everybody. Welcome to Long Island. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Cebulski. The Islanders are in the driver's seat and can really put the squeeze here tonight with a win. Each step you can take along the way is another nail in the coffin. They want to put one more in tonight. We are just seconds away now from puck drop. The quest for Lord Stanley's mug continues right here tonight, and we are underway. The Islanders will play it from the defensive zone. Barzell swooping in on the attack. Moves right to the middle, and they can't connect. Fantastic save! Takes the pass. Koskinen's confidence had to be shaken after that blowout loss in the last game. But the playoffs are about the game today, and that's a good start. Oh, look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. The official signaling for a penalty as play is called. McDavid's called for tripping. He's off to the box. Fishing around for the puck, and he gets his stick into the player's feet. When he goes down, it's an obvious call. Our first opportunity to look at the power play unit set to go to work. It's our first power play of the game. What a great chance to break this scoreless tie. Start with a face-off win. Get the puck to the point and start moving it around before you attack the net. Have a clear plan. Picked up along the boards by Beauvillier. Good heads-up play in the defensive zone. Puck dumped in. New York's gained possession along the boards. The Islanders move it in. And he regains control of the puck. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Picked up along the wall by Beauvillier. Right on the doorstep. Denies him in close. Right from the most dangerous area on the ice. The goalie flashes the glove. That's an arrogant stop. Lots of time left in this period. Still looking for our first goal. The Islanders will go to work here in the offensive zone. The Oilers will play it in their own end. And a few players on that bench go scrambling for cover as the puck goes a little too close for their liking. Good job tangling up his opponent here. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. The Islanders scoop it up along the boards. From the right side, takes the pass. New York's got the puck against the boards. Stopped by the goaltender. Big save by the goaltender once again. Koskinen's in great position here to make this stop. Nice work by the goaltender. the draw and he ties up his opponent and they'll get it out of the defensive end McDavid's out of the box he owes a lot of credit to that penalty killing unit well they'll have to regroup after that the power play doesn't cash in opportunity loss for them and he loses control of the puck sends a pass over they've got numbers moves it quickly over to Jones couldn't make that one happen the Islanders are in transition. Taken by Lee. Takes the feed. Referee singling the late penalty. Looks like hooking will be the call. Let's see what the official says here. Hooking's the call. This is what yeah. they kind of call the lazy penalty these days, yeah, right? It is, but, it, but really, the problem is you're beat, and you panic, and you're trying to help. And the more you help, the worse it gets. Go sit down. And he certainly dug himself a hole there. Another scoring opportunity looms here. The power play can be so frustrating. When you get an opportunity and it doesn't go well, you start to press pretty quickly into it. Now's the time to relax, readjust, and attack again. Stop by the goaltender. I think through traffic like that, you're just hoping the thing hits you. Hulak's used to contributing offensively. This pointless streak is not something that you usually see from him. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The game is still scoreless. Edmonton's got possession here in their own end. Under siege, trying to get it out of their zone. And it's a small victory for the...
PK unit here. Well, that's their job. Get it down the ice, get off the ice, get some new people out there. Pass it up ahead. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. New York's got possession at center. Here's a shot, comes up with the stop. Here's a chance to move the puck outside the zone. Cross the blue line and they'll get that much needed change, Ray. Yeah, they've got to get guys off the ice. They look tired, now you can get a fresh group on the ice. New York's got the puck against the half wall. Great stick saved by Koskinen. They're working really hard these days to make sure when they stop the puck, it doesn't stay in front of them. If they can't stop it and catch it, they want that puck in the corner. Fires it into the offensive zone. New York's got the puck along the wall. Tries to feed it over to Beauvillier. And he gains the zone here. Pumps the puck away. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. The Islanders gain possession in their own end. Comes up with the stop. This shot comes from a real dangerous area on the ice. But the goalie's in position, and he makes a nice stick save. Nearing the midway mark of the period. Still no score. Edmonton's won the draw. Moves it to Dreisaitl. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Here's a chance on the doorstep. Quick pass to Clutterbuck. Up along the wing. And now it's grabbed by Cahoon. Handles the puck. Puts it on net. Denied by the goaltender. Here's a short pass to Komarov. And now he angles it across to Sezikis. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Here's an odd man rush. The Islanders gain control of the puck against the wall. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Letty's got it along the wing. Right in front. Stopped by the goaltender. I like the way he tracks the puck here. He's got to find it, and then he gets his body right in front of it. That's a good save. They fight for it along the boards. Quick feed to Everly. That opportunity is rejected. The Oilers are on the attack. And that's picked off. Moves it quickly over to Marcel. Nothing doing on that. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Taken along the wall by Larson. Looks like there's a delayed penalty being called here by the officials. Play comes to a stop, and let's see what the call is. I saw the hold, did you? Yeah, so did 18,000 other people, so it's no surprise the ref got it as well. Edmonton's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. This has been a pretty tightly played game, but now they've earned the game's first power play. So they've got an opportunity to get the first strike on the board. Start with an offensive zone faceoff and a chance to get out in front. Scooped up along the wall by McDavid. Denies him again! Sometimes you're in close, there's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Moves it to Dreisaitl. You put this kind of pressure on, eventually they can't chase you anymore. Now he's got room to carry the puck. Wrist shot from the slot. Off a stick. The Islanders gain possession of the defensive zone. And the puck is cleared to a safer spot. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. Pass across to McDavid. Sends it across. Hammers a shot. Oh, what a stop by Varlamov. And they get the puck out of harm's way. The Oilers have it behind the net. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. New York's got a chance to work the transition game now shorthanded. Penalty coming up here as the play is stopped. Nugent Hopkins may not like the call, but the officials still see it as hooking. You get caught when you don't move your feet. Now you've got to reach out to slow the player down. He's in the box. Rightly so. New York's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Well, they've had limited opportunities, but the power play coach now has to get into their ear and give them a little something that will help them crack through. Answered the call on that play. But he came out and challenged a good save. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. The Islanders have it from their own end. Quick pass to Everly. Here 
here they come up along the wing. Edmonton's grabbed a hold of the puck. Trying to dump it out. And a nice job by the Killers on that one. Yeah, now they can get a change, get some fresh players on the ice. The Oilers have it against the wall. New York's got control of the puck. Here's a short pass to Bailey. New York's in now. Here's the pass. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Nice zone entry from the right side. Here's a shot. Close save. How did he get a piece of that? Couldn't complete the play. Slides the puck over. And now he moves it to Everle. That's taken away. Great defensive effort there. The Islanders' man advantage is over. Well, the penalty killers can go back to the bench knowing they did their job. Score remains the same as it was when that penalty was taken. That's a dangerous scoring chance, but the goaltender makes a great save as he's able to snuff it out. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. We're still scoreless. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. Quick feed to Yamamoto. And he can't get it off. Scores! Well, they were going to get a power play. You don't get one now. That goal will nullify the penalty. I always have zero sympathy for the goalie. That's a tough break. Bad break for him, you bet. But the puck goes into the net after somehow it's funneled that way and it bounces around into the cage. Edmonton's hustle the difference here as they take a 1-0 lead. Been so hard to get any open space on the ice. You work, work, work. There's nothing there. Finally, they score, and now you can open the game up a bit. Ennis carries the puck in his own zone. Picks it off. Look out. Moves it quickly over to Neal. Puts it in deep. The Islanders get a hold of the puck along the boards. The Oilers have it in the offensive zone. Moves it to Neal. Dismiss that chance. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Taken by Torres. New York's regained possession of the puck. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. Quick pass to Neal. And it looks like hooking is going to be a call coming up here as the official's arms up in the air. Can't connect. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. Mayfield's getting two for hooking. There's certain plays, as soon as they happen, the red flag goes up for the official. Stick goes across the player's waist. He's looking for hooking. The game has become better since they've cracked down on obstruction, Ray. Edmonton's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. If you can find a way to get a power play goal here, you can change the momentum of this game. They haven't got one yet tonight. And you find yourself starting to press when you don't score. Dumps it in. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. Here's a short pass to Clutterbuck. Slides the pass over to Sezikis. New York's on the attack. Clutterbuck's got it in the corner. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. Looking for space inside the D zone. Pokes the puck away. Reads it perfectly in the defensive end. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Sends it in on the attack. The Oilers have it now. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. A chance to clear. Big win for the shorthanded unit as they clear the puck from the zone. That no one's going to keep it in the zone when it goes off the glass at that speed. Nice poke check. Mayfield's penalty has expired. Sometimes you go on the ice with the best of intentions, and it goes all wrong right away. That's how I'd characterize that power play. Takes the feed. Simple stop by Koskinen. Edmonton's got the puck. Receives the pass. He got all of that hit on the play. 
Nelson's got it in the offensive zone. From the slot, way too much congestion blocks that. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. Grabbed along the boards by Nugent Hopkins. The Oilers played along the boards. Dreisaitl's dangerous in the offensive zone. He's got it now, and he's already got the go-ahead goal. On the attack along the boards. Snaps it onto the net, denies him in front. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck. From the left side, moves it up ahead. With the stop. Picked up along the boards by Chason. Play is blown dead. We've got a penalty on the way. Boychuk stick work has resulted in a two-minute penalty for hooking. It doesn't take very long to get on the wrong side of the play. You're a step behind. You've got to slow that guy down. You can't catch him. Maybe you can get away with a hook. Not here. Just tried to play catch up and got burned. Another special teams opportunity for both sides as the man advantage unit is back to work again. Look out! And the traffic neutralizes that threat. And that one stopped. Twenty minutes is complete as the horn sounds, concluding period number one. We've got a one nothing game here after the first twenty minutes of play. Are you looking for information on the stars of tomorrow today? And while both teams get a refresher, we'll take one ourselves heading into the second period. Making it to the big league. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James. Second period set to go. New York's shorthanded unit gets off to a good start. They win the draw and take early possession. And the puck skips out of play. Someone gets a souvenir, and we'll get a face-off. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. 1-0 the score. This neutral zone face-off set to go, and we are back underway. Moves the puck. Oh, what a stop with the blocker. Scores with the man advantage. Over the last couple of games, the signs were there that this power play was going to break out. They start to move the puck around and don't score. Tonight, they move it around and they do cash in. The goalie doesn't get a clean look at this with the traffic in front of the net. He's trying to find the puck, and by the time he does, it's behind him. Edmonton's got an insurance marker here. They now lead by two in the second. Don't back off, though. Keep pushing ahead. Play the game in the offensive half of the ice. Sends the pass over. Trying to get back on the attack now. From the blue line, they take control of it. The Islanders gain control of the puck against the wall. With possession along the wall. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Quick feed to pull Yarby. Here's a shot and makes the save. He scores! Jumps on the rebound and carries it! Oh, he tried to make a desperation save there, but he gets beat. Not much else he could do. The Oilers have put on an impressive offensive display, but equally, their defensive performance, too. They look like they're from a different league. They've dominated this game through most of the first two periods. Jabs the puck away. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. That's going to be frustrating for him. He was in a position to deliver the puck, but he lost it. Pucks it away in his own end. Picked up along the wall by Barzell. Stopped by the goaltender. Koskinen school tending at one end and the offensive output at the other has made for a good night.
We're still in the early stages of this period. Edmonton's really put the squeeze on here now up by three. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. Puck scooped up by Jones. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Nice pass. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Strong defensive effort. Moves it quickly over to Beauvillier. Jostling for the puck, and he loses control. And he can't hang on after that hit. Moves it to Letty, and he slides it quickly to Beauvillier. Take it along the wall, but he scores! They had to get themselves an opportunity somehow, but down three is not it. They're down by a couple now, and they can dial press to see if they can make it a, a strike closer. The comeback is on. If you're the goalie here, you just want to move as quick as you can. Maybe it'll hit you, but it's so close to the net that pass is on the tape and off the tape in a hurry. New York still trailing in this one, but it's a little bit closer now. A little bit better, and now maybe you can find some energy because there's lots of room to claw back into this game. And they'll dump it in. The Oilers have it behind the cage. Sends it quickly to Ennis. He's got a step. And squandered opportunity there, Ray. Hard to believe that's what came out of such a promising looking play. Scoops up the puck here. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Del Cole. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. Takes control of the puck. The Oilers take possession in the defensive end. Fires it into the offensive zone. The Islanders will play the puck from behind the net. Takes the pass. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Scores! When you get into this position, that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry. You don't have much time to think about it. Edmonton's been dominant tonight as they make their way back to center. They have scored almost at will, in particular here in this second period. Puck has dropped, and we are back underway. And now it's over to Chase on. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Kara. Excellent stick work on the play. Oh, we got a tripping penalty coming up here. The officials were all over that. And let's see what the call is. So often in a, in a shifty little play that you're trying to get to the puck, you get your stick in the wrong spot, he steps on your stick, and there's nothing you can do. And the man advantage unit goes right back to work. There's another power play for them, James. Pretty interesting. When you have failure like they have on their previous power plays, it's not really a confident group that goes back out on the ice. New York's got a hold of it against the wall. Over the line they come. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. And that's picked off. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And he gets the job done. Big thumbs up clearing that one. Angles it over to Lee. Slides it across. The Oilers have possession shorthanded. They clear the zone. New York's got a hold of it along the wall. Takes the feed up ahead. First pass is key. You can play with pace if you have that. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. And we got another stoppage in play for, guess what? Yeah, another penalty being called here. A little too much stick and body hooking up on this one, hence hooking on the goal. Yeah, I, I didn't think this was a difficult call for the official to make at all. New York salivating with a five-on-three power play. Hey, you got a chance to score twice here on the five-on-three. Attack early, maybe you get one quickly. Nice play shorthanded as they get control of the puck. They get it out of the defensive end. Quick pass to Beauvillier. Paddled away by Koskinen. New York's got the puck along the wall. Again, the denial by the goaltender. Stop one, stop two. The goalie makes a couple of excellent saves. Scooped up along the wall by Jones. 
steps inside the line. A howitzer, and he comes up with the save. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. 4-1 is where we sit. A pretty one-sided affair. Nugent Hopkins has won the draw. And that one's broken up. Battle along the boards. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. The Oilers get a hold of the puck under man. Referee's got his hand up, signaling a delayed penalty. And the whistle stops the play, and someone's off to the box. Not quite a bear hug, but holding is the call, Ray. As soon as you reach out, you're, you're alerting the official to take a closer look. And one hand off your stick in traffic, it's a bad place to be. Got burned. A nice little break for the defenseman here. One less forward to deal with as we have some four-on-four -four hockey on tap. If you can get the puck early on a four-on-four, four, the key is to hold on to it as long as you can. Wear the opponent down. Make yourself develop a really good scoring chance. And now it's grabbed by Barzell. Edmonton's got a chance to go to work on the power play here after their penalty expired. Gives them nothing in front. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Moves it around along the half wall. Makes the save and putting out the fire in front. has won the face-off. Quick shot off the outside of the post and stays out. The Oilers maybe can put that in their pocket and save it for another night. They're up big here and thoroughly in control. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. That knocks him off the puck. Here's a short pass to Barry. We got a penalty coming up on the play as the referee extends his hand in the air. And the officials stop the play. Let's see what the call is. They've been trying to cut out the clutching and grabbing, and this is a pretty clear-cut case here. Yeah, I don't think you're going to get away with this very often unless you can shield the official from view, but holding call is the right one. Edmonton's got a five-on-three, but not a lot of time to work with. Another penalty. That'll lead to a quick five-on-three here. Komarov's won a big draw on their own end. Puck battle along the boards. Grabbed along the boards by Komarov. Aaron pass, and the play's broken up. Stop that one. Looks to get the puck over to Beauvillier. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Slides it diagonally to McDavid. Slides the puck ahead to Neal. Quick shot, blocked in front. New York's penalty killers get a hold of it. Up the neutral zone now. Quick feed to Mayfield. Fails to find the open man. Steps inside. Makes a move and the puck hops away from him. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. Edmonton's got control of it now from their own end. Takes the puck at the point. Sends it over. Centered out in front. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. They're able to wind the clock down a little bit here. They don't score on that power play. I don't know that it's particularly important. They don't want to give up anything because they've got such a large lead. They want to run this in on cruise control. Lee's got to be the lead dog here. I, there are times when a captain can be just one of the leadership group, but when you're down by this much, you've got to show the guys that the game can't end. You have to play hard still. Made the stop on the... Past the midway mark in this period. Edmonton's got a little more jump in their step tonight. They lead it 4-1. The Islanders take possession off the faceoff. Off the deflection. Oh, he couldn't put it past. What a stop by Koskinen. 
He's sharp on that one. Nowhere to go for the puck. The Islanders have had a lot of scoring opportunities, but they continue to trail here in the second. Locks them up on the draw as they take possession. Cahoon's carrying it ahead. The Islanders get a hold of the puck in their own end. New York's got it along the wall. Puck picked up by Barry. Gaining momentum up along the side. Good defensive stop with the poke check. And now he tries to get it across all alone. Huge stop by Koskinen. Puck grabbed by Barzell. Great reflexes, another save. Yeah, he's pretty good positioning here, James. He makes the two stops back to back. Made the save on the play. Oh, he had to get up tight to the puck. In close, he takes away any room. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. New York's looking to break out. Takes a bump, but still hangs on to the puck. The Islanders take it along the wing. Sends a pass over. Oh, what a save with the stick by Koskinen. New York's gained possession along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Nelson. Goes right to the crease. Takes the feed. Moves it to Nelson. Nears the blue line and looks to set up at the point. Taken by Lee. Here he is, wrists it on net. Stones him in front. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Bears going to play it against the half wall. Oh, gets a paddle on it. What a stop by Varlamov. Quick pass to Lee. Delayed penalty looming. There goes the whistle. No extra attacker able to get there in time. Russell's been called for holding. Pretty tough to argue when you've got your hand wrapped around the guy's arm. Penalty for holding. The Islanders send their man advantage unit out once more. The way you drive a power play is get one puck at the front of the net, but then you back it up with multiple efforts. Here's a short pass to Beauvillier. The blocker saved by Koskinen. New York's had a lot of good looks offensively, but they have run into one hot goaltender, which is why they trail late in this second. And a good read to get possession there with the two centermen tangled up. The Islanders scoop it up along the boards. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. Great defensive play to come up with the puck. The Islanders carry it along the wall. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Edmonton's moving it along the wing. The Islanders take possession here in the open ice. Centered out in front, and that's broken up. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end, and they do just that. Well, I thought they did a pretty good job there, James. That's a time you can get yourself running around in the zone. They didn't get there. Puck moved over to Lee. The Islanders take it across the line. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. The Islanders have it against the wall. Makes the save. Getting into the later stages of this period, Edmonton's been the better team, and the scoreboard shows it. 4-1 is where we sit. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Picked up along the boards by Clutterbuck. Big play inside the defensive zone. Dreisaitl's got it across the line. Rocked him in the open ice. From the left wing, takes the feed. Quick feed down low. Quick feed to Sezikis. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Stopping the play. Wow, did the ice get small for him. There's nowhere to go. And he had to absorb this huge hit. New York's had plenty of good looks offensively, but they have been snake bitten as they trail late in this second period. Puck scooped up by Russell. New York's got possession here in the neutral zone. Centering pass in front. Stopped by the goaltender. Through center along the wing. Regains possession at center. 
Puts it up front. What a steal in his own end. Moves it quickly over to Dreisaitl. He was locked in there. Maintains possession. And a poke check knocks the puck away. That pass goes a little sideways. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. Edmonton's regained possession of the puck. Pinned up along the boards. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. The Oilers take over on possession. Smart heads up play to intercept the pass. Gets in front of it. The goalie gets himself out of any potential trouble by depositing that rebound into the corner. And the period has come to an end in what has been a very one-sided affair tonight. Are you looking to impress at your next group of eight? Then rent out one of our luxury boxes. With great views, waiter service, and free team merchandise, your time is now to reserve your seat in one of our... What's in store for the third boxes. period? Let's tune in to find out just moments away. in the books big third period coming up for both teams and we're ready to go third period underway here this has been a total squash to this point Ray Ferraro is between the benches at ice level Ray we've got 40 minutes played so far how have you viewed things the Islanders have to avoid the panic with the puck at all costs they've had a lot of possession James they just haven't done enough with it and we've got a two on one here he is on the backhand big save Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. Bears dragging it along the line. And that's blocked away. Pugliarvi's on the attack in the offensive zone. Moves it to Pellick. Smart read by the defender to come up with it. The Oilers move the puck in the defensive zone. Loses his balance on the play. Picked up along the wall by Eberle. The Islanders played along the wing. Looks like we got a penalty coming up here. And he sprints to the bench to get the extra attacker out on the ice. And now it's grabbed by Mayfield. Quick pass to Lee. The Islanders take it along the wall. And the official stops the play as somebody's off to the sin bin. McDavid's getting two for holding. He's going to see this on the big board once he sits down. He'll see this as a penalty. The Islanders once again send out their power play unit. The best power plays are the ones that are successful after they've failed. They haven't been very good tonight, but you have to watch that away, not let it affect the current power play. The Islanders going to work on offense, trying to get the puck out of harm's way, and they get it down. That good communication. They talk to each other. They're in the right spot. They just clear it down the ice. New York's got the puck along the wall. No one home on that play. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. And the puck leaves the zone. The Islanders look to start the transition game. Gaining momentum along the wing. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. They fight for it along the boards. Here's a short pass to Bailey. Carries it across the line. To his teammate, sends one across, and that one's broken up. Deep inside the defensive zone, trying to clear the puck. Cross the blue line, and they'll get that much needed change, Ray. Yeah, they've got to get guys off the ice. They look tired. Now you can get a fresh group on the ice. Quick pass over to McDavid. Now a quick pass to Nugent Hopkins. Along the half wall with the puck. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Good battle along the boards for the puck. The Islanders gain possession along the wall. Edmonton's got control of it now here in the offensive end. New York's got it in their own zone. Cross corner dump in. Slides it quickly to Yamamoto. Dry has got it into offensive territory. Here's a shot, and there's the save. Zizekas moves it ahead. Stays with it. He grabs the puck here at the point. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. Denied by the goaltender. Manages to hang on. And he totally whiffs on that one. 
And that's taken by the defense. New York's got the puck along the boards. And he slides it quickly to Clutterbuck. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. From the point, looks to make something happen. Quick feed to Letty. Moves the puck along the half wall. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. Tries to the crease. New York's got the puck. Moves it quickly over to Ennis. Turns it away. Off the post. The Oilers didn't need that one as it rings off the goalpost. But you know the shooter would have liked it. Varlamov's able to make the save as we see here. This is a good scoring chance, but he's in good position. Nearing the midway mark of the period. The Oilers lead at 4-1. Torres wins it in the offensive zone. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Gains the zone on the left wing. And the stick falls apart. Who's more frustrated, the player or is the coach on the bench? Uh, nah. Our coaches are always frustrated <laughs> when the game doesn't go the way they want it to. But they're in a suit. They're not the guy shooting it. Sends it over to Everle. Moves it to Lee. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. Not able to connect. And they can't convert to the play. Quick pass to Barzell. Puck picked up by Neal. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. New York's got the puck along the wall. Here's a short pass to Mayfield. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Set up and gets control of it once again. Scores! Well, now they're only down by a couple. I guess it gives them a chance, but they've got to score again quick. And it looks like a bus depot in front of the net. You know it's a tough one when you can't see the goalie. That means he can't see the puck. The Islanders finally get one back here in the third. They deserve this one, Ray. Yeah, this is where you can take your underlying stats, James, and throw them in the garbage can <laughs> because that $10 million score clock is the only number that matters. Sure. Not an analytics guy? I am, but it doesn't matter sometimes. They've got the defense outnumbered. Handles the puck. The Islanders gain possession in their own end. Moves it over to Pellet. And it's a quick pass to pull off. Slides the puck over and makes the save. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Taken along the wall by Del Cole. Sent into the offensive zone. The Oilers have it against the wall. Feeds the puck to chase on. There's the whistle from the linesman calling an offside. Oh, they moved the puck really well on that odd man break, but the goaltender was right on it to make the stop. New York's Achilles heel tonight has been finding offense as they trail here in the third. Puck is dropped and play resumes. And he connects with the long bomb. Really good quick up from the defenseman. Can't finish that one. Oh, he's going to be kicking himself for that. The play was there. He just doesn't execute that last pass for the scoring opportunity. Quick feed to Barry. And now he angles it across to Barry. Here they are on the attack. Grabs control of it at the point. Too much congestion in front. And there's a lucky souvenir for someone in the crowd as the puck heads out of play. Past the midway mark of the frame. We've got ourselves a 4-2 hockey game. Dreisaitl's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Look out. Oh. Yeah, that, you didn't say that quick enough. He got flattened as he was trying to go down the boards. And now he moves it quickly to Beauvillier. Takes the feed. Strong defensive effort. Ref's arm goes up in the air. Looks like we got a hooking call coming up. 
Let's see what the officials say. This is a good old-fashioned hooking the call here. He looked like he was water skiing. Man, you got to move your feet. You get your stick around his waist, you'll get called. New York's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. The power play can be so frustrating when you get an opportunity and it doesn't go well. You start to press pretty quickly into it. Now's the time to relax, readjust, and attack again. Puck moves back to the neutral zone. New York's got it from behind the net. Quick feed to Eberle. New York's in transition. Keeps hold of the puck. Edmonton's got possession while undermanned. Puck cleared from the defensive end. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. Smart defensive play there. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Hangs onto the puck. New York's got a hold of it along the wall. Puck grabbed by Cassian. New York's gained possession. Off the tip. Oh, what a save by Koskinen. Edmonton's got the puck shorthanded. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Takes it into the slot. Stopped by the goaltender. Penalty expires, and when you look at where things sit right now, that's a huge, huge play by the penalty killers. Koskinen's only got a little bit of time left to protect that lead. Late in the third, he makes an outstanding save. The Islanders have been the busier team in the offensive zone, but they still trail in the third. Sezikas is quick on the draw. Stopped by the goaltender. Flashes the leather right in the slot on a difficult chance. And he regains control of the puck. And he slides it quickly to Letty. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Oh, what a save in front. Yeah, it's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. This is a pretty good play here. There's nothing really magical to it. He just gets it into the offensive zone, and now he's going to hustle after him. And he slides it quickly to Sezikis. Now a quick pass to Letty. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Komarov. Passes right to the front. Can't connect. Moves it quickly over to Nugent Hopkins. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. Battling for it along the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Jones. And now he moves it to Pugliarvi. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Nugent Hopkins. Mayfield's been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. The goaltender is quickly off to his bench to get the extra attacker out. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. Jones might try to protest this one, but still going off for tripping. Played with fire, he got burned, Ray. Oh, he's digging around for the pocket. Sometimes you just get caught. This time the player goes down, and he's got to go to the box. The Islanders once again send out their power play unit, and what a golden opportunity here. In a close game, this is a critical time to have a power play. You'd love to get on the board. However, they've had no success tonight, comparatively speaking. Not much happening on the power play. The Islanders get a hold of the puck along the boards. Oh, denies him with the save! I think he got the blocker on it! Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Quick feed down low. Here's a shot, and that's blocked! The Islanders gain control of the puck against the wall. Good heads-up play in the defensive zone. Takes a bump and loses control of the puck. Handles it along the blue line. Takes a whack but still hangs on. And that's picked off in front. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. Up along the wing. The Islanders looking against the half wall. He almost lost it for a second there but regains control of the puck. His reflexes on display tonight. Sharp reaction save. The Islanders are running out of time as they trail late in this third period. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Nice poke check. Edmonton's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. Jones steps back out onto the ice. There's no facet of this penalty kill that has been weak tonight for them. They have been perfect while they've been down a man. From the goaltending to the pressure up the ice, denying entry. It's been an outstanding night for this unit.
Goaltender has made his way to the bench. The extra attackers out. They need a goal here big time. Slides the puck across to Pugliarvi. Taken by Pulak. Stick collapses. Yeah, it does, and that's frustrating for the player. Everything right, but the stick is wrong. Doesn't go. The Islanders gain possession along the wall. Maintains possession. Here's a shot, and he makes the save. Koskinen's always so secure in his save selection. Nice stop, but the rebound in the corner is the best part. Couldn't find the intended target. Gets a pad on it to deny him. Koskinen's had to be on his game. That's a great chance. This shift continues as they roll around the offensive zone. Here he is on the tip with the steal. Moves it to Everly. Couldn't connect on that pass. New York's got a hold of it against the wall. Great pass from the left wing up the middle now. Puck scooped up by Barzell. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Final horn is sounded, bringing this one to an end. Well, anybody who thought that this was going to be a quick series had been sorely mistaken after tonight. At the very least, you drop that first game. All you can think about is not the big picture, it's the small one. We need to split the first two games. They did a really good job. Yeah, mission accomplished tonight. Well, this one's in the books. A fun one tonight for Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Good night.